In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. Many of you saw this, a deeply personal message from Catherine, Princess of Wales, the 42-year-old mother of three who is in line to be Britain's next queen, has cancer. After weeks of speculation about her health, the bombshell announcement is certainly capturing the world's attention. It's also putting the spotlight on a disease that touches so many of us, no matter the background, no matter the culture, or where you are. According to the Women's Cancer Center, one in three women will be diagnosed with some type of cancer right here in Arizona. The good news is that there are things we can do to increase survival. So joining us this morning is Julie Dunnigan. She is the CEO of the Cancer Support Community Arizona. So thank you, first of all, Julie, for being here. Thank you for having me. And you came into this job last year, um, also at a time when you yourself now a breast cancer survivor with dealing with it. So first of all, congratulations. I'm glad you are past that point. I know it's still that recovery. How important is the emotional support and to have that circle around you when you're dealing with something like that? Well, it's really important not just for your mental health, but also for your cancer outcomes. It's been proven that receiving strong social and emotional support will decrease mortality and increase survivorship rates uh, for cancer patients and also decrease your chance of the cancer coming back. And so it's really important to engage in these strong social and emotional support services, just like the ones we provide at Cancer Support Community Arizona. And it's crazy to think that in Arizona alone, some 40,000 people this year will, will be diagnosed with cancer. Yes. Um, the good news is it's not always a death sentence, right? There are so many ways to fight it. What can folks do to increase their chances of survival, aside from getting that emotional support that we talked about? Yes, we believe in a patient active approach so really taking charge of your diagnosis and doing everything that you can to have the best possible result and so that means everything from exercising moving your body even when you're going through treatment it's hard but at Cancer Support Community Arizona we have adaptive exercises that you can do with an instructor uh, that take in mind the fact that you're going through a cancer treatment and you might not be as mobile as you normally are but it really is important to keep moving your body and also to keep your nutrition strong and feed yourself with healthy foods, even when you might not be hungry or you might be dealing with side effects from chemo. Mm -hmm. Your doctors will tell you it's really important to keep feeding yourself and you might be asking yourself, well, how do I do that? So we teach that at Cancer Support Community yeah. Arizona. That is fantastic. And all the programs that they offer, whether it be in-person classes, whether it be virtual support, you offer it both in English and in Spanish, it is all free. That's amazing. Completely free of charge. We are very lucky to have the support of our community. We're fully funded by donations. Uh, through the community and people realize that when you have cancer it's a big deal it affects the whole family mm -hmm. and nobody should face cancer alone so we're uh, very lucky that our community is so supportive of the work that we do and they continue to donate generously to us when we talk about the support um, uh my sister is a breast cancer survivor, so I know the importance of that. What do you think is a myth that most people, maybe when it comes to any type of cancer, especially fighting it, what's one of the biggest myths, would you say? I would say can't, that cancer is just medicine. It's not. And so the having the best medical care that you can is mm -hmm. crucial and vital, and your oncology team will do a great job doing everything that they can to give you the best possible outcomes. But they will tell you it's really important that you take care of your mental health as well, mm -hmm. that you receive those strong social and emotional support services because they know oncologists know that that will improve your outcomes and they want to make sure that you are doing everything you can on your side yeah. to get that that result that you want well it is fantastic that you guys offer all these services they have more than a hundred classes available uh, support ways what's the best way to get a hold of you guys and to take a look at what you offer just go to our website cscaz.org that stands for cancer support community Arizona so cscaz.org look at our calendar register it's all free all right, Julie, thank you so much for shedding some light on what you guys do here in the community because, uh, as we know, it, like you said, sometimes it's not, just, it's not just the medicine. It is certainly what you're dealing with up here and that emotional and mental support. Absolutely. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Let's check in with Dina because we've got...